Before we begin, sponsor mentions the Packfiller online store is open. We've got... I've been shipping out orders. I've been like busy little elf shipping what? out orders of shirts and hats and and coffee mugs and lions and tigers and bears. Get to packfiller.com today and check out the fun swag we have to show your pack filler pride. As I said, mug shirts, caps, kits, all kinds of fun and a good dose of tongue in cheek. Packfiller.com. There's a, even a, a, a rim break bar t-shirt that I, mm. I had to crank out a couple of those and send them out wahoo is a sponsor trainers computers training platforms and so much more i'm a huge believer in the element bolt as i recommended on last week's show as well as the kicker which will get me through the winter but i i wish i understood their extreme hatred of like certain value vowel vowels you know like Mm -hmm. Mm k-i-k-r k-i-c-k-r Anyway, I also have their headwind fan on my Christmas list. I really would like that. Um, use the link at packfiller.com to show them we sent you. Finally, untapped energy. Pure Vermont maple syrup is the core ingredient, and genuine clean fuel is the result. Multiple flavors and multiple strengths. Use the link, and you won't regret it. There we go. Why did I turn into a leprechaun right there? Oh, oh he's after me like it. It's the stout. It's the stout. I had quite a bit of Guinness on Saturday. Wow. Really? Mm-hmm. What, what for? It was a uh, Christmas party for my wife. Oh, yeah. 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 Time till the end. That was We were supposed to do the gathering here, but, but your your wife's Christmas party yeah. trumped it. Mm. Would have rather been here. Yeah. Actually, it was a fun all oh. Good. Where'd you get that stupid sweater? He, oh. He's been on the show longer than oh. you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, both Me of those too, stupid yeah. sweaters. Oh. And his, he has a stupid sweater. You, Jackson has one of these. This I was do. before Sam's stupid sweater. Paul that has a cool one. Too. One. Yeah, that's what I said. Go, oh, yeah. yeah. Jackson Paul on it. Yeah. That is cool. But they're all sweatshirts. They're not sweaters. Yeah. Well, this is still weird. This is a sweater. That what, what makes a sweater? polyester sweater? I think a small flame and that will just melt to your flesh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just it looks more plastic than anything. Yeah. All right, T-minus six days until the fat man arrives, or if I want to insert a self-deprecating joke here, I could always just say that the fat man has always been here. <laughs> it's Tuesday. The bar is open. Welcome to the Rim Break Bar in Spokane, Washington, the home of the Pack Filler Cycling Podcast. I'm your host, Pat Bolger, and it's time to talk bikes. With me again are some of the voices of the Pack Filler, but as usual, we are one down. Hopefully we get a full house before 2024. So let's see who's here, shall we? Although I think we've all talked already. Tonight's prologue question to get to know the show. What is a Christmas tradition that you hold to? That you've held and hold strong to to this day? Well, Paul isn't here, but it isn't because of a basketball game. He's actually sick, so get better, damn it. Next off, if he was Santa... His gift would be leaving registration money to all the race directors of the world and never asking anything in return. <laughs> Mr. Sam Waples, how are you, man? That's gold. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Sometimes wow. these things just come to me. That's really funny and true. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, my I would say one that I always stick to through and through is watching A Christmas Story. Oh, okay. I love that movie. Do you watch it from beginning to end, or you just like me? Yeah. You turn on the channel and you always are watching it. Some point. I guess. Through. I mean, probably more that now that like I actually have to make an effort because it used to just be on loop on like USA or it's whatever. It's not channel. anymore. Well, I'm sure it is. I just don't oh, have that. You don't have cable like now. Anymore? I have YouTube TV. Oh, okay. So hmm. I've just always just click watch. Yeah, I've switched. I switched to YouTube TV, but my wife won't pull the trigger. So we're paying for both. Shut mm. up. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, really what? stupid. Well, uh, Xfinity oh. and no. YouTube TV. Mm-hmm. Seriously? Yeah. I'm just like, honey. Why? The format- also, you need to pair up with him because you get five accounts. He, I, I already am. got it for him. Yep. That's why I won't drop it. So. He has it. My mom has it. I'm paying for it, but I'm also paying for Xfinity. Yeah. That's your Christmas gift. Yeah. It's the same bill. <laughs> Next off. <laughs> If he was Santa, his gift would be dependent upon what beer you left out for him, Mr. David Waples. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <clears throat> How are you, man? I'm doing well. Do you Are you okay that I call you Mr. in the openings? Or are you one of those guys who's like, I earned the degree, call me doctor, goddammit? Mm, no, I would prefer Mr. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. good. Because I don't really want to yeah. see your ego go any... 
yeah. higher. No, no, I think I. Yeah, I, no, what an egotistical asshole. Yeah. Man. Well, it must be in the in, in the it must water be in our genes or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's tradition you hold? Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, see, the problem is, is that this one has nothing to do with my involvement, but I always want somebody to make a tea ring. Oh, that was my other. What is it? Yeah. Tea a Swedish tea ring. It's just like it's almost like a. Uh, I feel like I call it a poor cinnamon man's roll. cinnamon roll because it's oh. so much easier than a cinnamon roll. But Sounds it's like, sexual, but okay. No, it's not quite, you know. Okay. It's just like rolled up dough with sugar in it's, it and cinnamon. Yeah, and it's roll. basically you, you do a cinnamon roll because, you know, you roll them all sure, out sure. and then you usually cut it and then flip them. Well, instead okay. of doing that, you just leave that long roll and wrap it together and then you... Do a few that slices. and like the whole rising of the dough is not as it's not as involved as cinnamon no. rolls. You don't get it like the fluffiness no. of a so cinnamon roll. So it's not in the shape of a tea. It's uh, just like T E A ring. Yeah, like T E A yeah. ring. Like you okay. have it with your tea. Okay. Uh, but my mom always makes it, and uh, grandma. grandma makes it. Danielle might make it this year. We'll see. Somebody better. But somebody better make it because yeah. I need to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. So. <laughs> Next, if he was Santa, we would all probably dress a little better the day after, Mr. Jackson Bolzer. Mm. Well, Although thank you. we've got our ugly sweaters on, and Jesus, I forgot how ugly these things were when <laughs> I got you guys. The Nightwing. Yeah, I know. The one that st- when you stretch it, it kind of turns a little white. It does. Oh, wow. Um, anyways. So uh, well, <laughs> don't we all? So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But um, Christmas tradition, I usually watch um, both this both runs for Christmas and uh, Halloween. But it's always uh, Peanuts Christmas. Oh yeah, is the first one mm. that I watch. Oh yeah, year. that's the one yeah. that just like gets me in the in the Christmas mood. Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay, me if I were Santa, all the presents would like would likely have the show logo on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pat Bulger, and my tradition is one present on Christmas Eve. Mm. I hate the oh getting actually and it's my tradition it's not my wife's so jackson's always basically got been able to open more than one present on christmas eve haven't you yeah but it pisses me off not lately been and my other one is a tenderloin roast for for dinner Mm. on christmas eve sorry meat no, I, I can guys. respect it. Yeah, this year it still I'm, sounds good. This year I'm going full Gordon Ramsay and I'm making a beef Wellington. <laughs> Don't know what that is, is, but it's a tenderloin roast. Watch Instagram with <laughs> with prosciutto and a mushroom paste, and then a uh, uh, puff pastry ra- wrapped around Shut it, up. and you bake it that way. I actually would be down to make that sometime, just because it's like it's one of those things I always see, and I'm like, yeah. that looks so amazing. And I'm such a mm-hmm. dumb. Well, if I had enough beer in me i'd eat the i'm such thing. a dumb yeah. asshole that i'm going to try it for the first time on christmas eve oh, that's that a nice. good time to test yeah. it yeah, yeah. Be fine yeah. yeah no problems here nothing bad yeah. could happen like 150 dollars a tenderloin roast Your family and, you might know, leave you and and stuff. now dinner. yeah they might but you know worst case scenario. The, the woman at the grocery store asked me what i was doing and i told her what i was going to make for dinner and i told her i was nervous about it and she goes oh worst case scenario they can just pick off the pastry puff and eat that i'm like great point Great point. <laughs> yeah, I, she's on my side. Yeah, yeah, she is. yeah, yeah. So uh, everybody has your cycling life. I just, I'll just throw that out there. You don't have to, you know, because Sam's gonna probably be like, I worked out nine days God, in a seven I honestly day week. Don't I feel like I'm in a lull? I think oh. maybe motivation and everything. I am still doing my three workouts a week, but this is like once again back to like what we were talking about a few podcasts ago. Like I'm still doing everything I need to do because I've set that bar at three workouts a week anything on top that's excellent but like yeah i've been shortening workouts i got such Mm -hmm. bad sleep quality last week that i like one of the workouts i even had to drop it down to 80 percent. i've done that because i was like i'm cooked like i can't do this yeah does yours do the little how happy are you to train yeah the smiley yeah Yeah. i haven't hit max smiles yet I've been slowly getting going down frowning. on like, yeah, Ugh. not really. It's asks like how excited you are before you're training. Like how motivated are you to train today? And it has like a range from a frowny face to a smiley and face. And then like how, uh, so obviously in nowhere in the algorithm, have you set to the word triathlete because they're always happy to train. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, no, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> let's train. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
big old toothy grin. Yeah. No, uh, this is <laughs> like, and then at the end, they always <laughs> ask you, like, how do you think that this went? Yeah. Really? Like, was this hard, easy? Yeah I, yeah. I don't know if it uses that. That it uses it. And then, like, really? there is, but the best way is that if you have heart rate on, then they will actually tell you your stress, like, your stress score of how mm. long it'll take you to recover. This but is train rate. Yeah. So my depression is affecting yeah. it my will. training plan it will. because I'm just yeah. sad. Yeah. <laughs> it has nothing to do with training. I thought they just wanted to know how I felt. No, <laughs> no, they're they're talking about like you know you're like like they if you listen to their podcast which you shouldn't you should just listen to us but right. they talk about like you know you like all of these things are factors into getting sick and really? you know hitting burnout all that it's wow. cool it's a really cool algorithm but yeah. Um, yeah I'm somewhere on that like same scale as you I don't know, right now I'm just like I'm tired yeah. yeah have I told the story in here about when J- Jackson had the Nintendo Wii. And no. with the we had the fit board, you could actually stand on it and do exercises and stuff like that, mm-hmm. or you know run around and stuff like that. And we all had our own uh, avatars, right? And uh, my guy was, you know, I put it. You put in your age, your height, your weight. You no, know, you you didn't do all that yet, but we put it all in. And I had a guy who's you know super happy and stuff like that. And then it asked me for the We Fit program to get on it and put my my weight in. And mm-hmm. stuff like that, and so I put all that stuff in, and my avatar, like that, turned from a total happy fit guy to he he genuinely doubled in size, looked like Homer Simpson, and he bent over like he was exhausted. No. I'm yeah. not joking. Jackson was there. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck? My <laughs> guy just suddenly just imploded." <laughs> this, this, this is like eight. This is at least ten years ago. A long time ago, and it's just like so. Nintendo's like, oh, we see who you are, <laughs> Chunky is, McChunkerton, yeah. but and that, it just went. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, shit. Oh my God. That uh, that photo of you on your Instagram, shut up, Pat Bulger or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Is that a Chat GPT thing? No, it's it is AI though. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Why are you saying he's too thin? Yeah. Asshole. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not actually what I was going to say, but I was like, did you just enter in an algorithm there that you like, you know, got what you wanted? It <laughs> <laughs> looks great. Send me back yeah. to the yeah. olden days yeah. and make me handsome. It was great. I was like, oh my god, I want to try to do this. Maybe I'll be happy again. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I'll have god. a positive body image. <laughs> oh Jesus, right? Fat chance. Uh, to fat chance. <laughs> I see what you did there. Combination of words. <laughs> Uh, how's everybody else? Do? Jackson, you went to the gym today. Yeah, Whoa. so I've been keeping up with my four week, four yeah, four days a week thing pretty well. Um, yeah, I right. feel good. I like doing the weight stuff too. It's uh, out of the norm and it gets me away from the bike sometimes. And that, yeah, I think that's what leads to my burnout a little bit. Is mm-hmm. just too much bike. So yeah, yeah doing great. Yeah, um, I've been doing. I keep setting this thing to do three days a week and it keeps giving me five days. <laughs> and then yeah. I feel too guilty to not do to a ride. To blow them off. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, well, it says I need to ride. And How so, long does this training plan go for? for I you? don't know, but it's like five. So I'm doing like five to six hours of, of trainer stuff. But I struggle in the winter with like back and shoulder pain when I do too much trainer stuff. Mm-hmm. So I just decided to add like I bought some of those dumbbells because I can't go to the gym. That's like impressive that you can like motivate yourself to go to the gym. But I don't want to I want to get off the bike and immediately do something else. Yeah. Like with mm-hmm. workout. Yeah. And so I'm going to try some of those like adjustable dumbbells, which made me think of you and like your elliptical and like all those things. Yeah. You have. And I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm. I got kettlebells. So I've got yeah. dumbbells. I've got all this that kind of stuff. This is my first upstairs. piece of a workout equipment besides a bike. Well, yeah. I love <laughs> so, a good kettlebell. See, yeah. I, I don't know. I like the like just a different day as a, a workout where you're just going to the gym. I enjoy that. Like yeah. the Mondays, you know, like I'm going to the gym today. I didn't even ride yesterday morning, which historically I was riding in Monday mornings, but. I've got to the point with this, just the stuff accumulated over years that it's like, I, sh- I would like to go to a gym because when you go to a gym, you're much more motivated, mm-hmm. yeah. but I'm at the point now where it's like, that would be a stupid expense. I've got almost everything yeah, I totally. need. totally. You know? I think I'm using the like, well, I paid a decent amount of money yeah. for these, and so I better use them is yeah. what I'm banking on, yeah. and I don't know that that's going to work. Yeah. Those adjustable ones are pretty cool, though. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Is um, anybody brave enough to go outside? No, I thought yeah, about I it. <laughs> <laughs> I walked to my car, and then I walked from the car. I actually thought about mountain biking. I was like, mountain biking wouldn't be bad right now. But then I was like, well, is there snow on Beacon? Yes. It's It's been... 
No, I mean there is some, but yeah. not a lot. Huh. It's it's for those who don't know or who don't live here. It's been unseasonably warm here. Mm-hmm. In fact, tomorrow I think our high is forty two, mm-hmm. yeah. which is quite quite nice. It's it's overcast and it was spitting rain all day. But um, you know, and I, I see some people on Strava actually going outside. But you guys, I think it was David who said once the bike's on the trainer, that's it. The road bike, yeah. Yeah. I would go mountain bike if yeah. it was warm enough and I had the time during the middle of the day when the sun's out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no way you guys could pay me enough money to go out on my road bike right now. No. Really? Gravel, Just, maybe. Maybe. Mountain bike, likely. Really? We used to have a New Year's Day tradition where we would go out. Yeah. Whether... It, did, it didn't matter. You'd go out on your mountain bike and just pedal around five, six blocks if it was coated in snow. Or if the roads were clear, you would go out and we would do a road ride. Mm. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there I mean, was it's, something it's, like that in Bellingham, but it was 100 miles. That's insane. That's every, stupid. Every I think we do 20 miles. January 1st, yeah. it was 100 miles and it was a big group. Absolutely. It's like 20 to 50 people. Wow. Should we do that this year? No. 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 I think it no. really depends wow. on Universal. <laughs> universal. Not. Universal decision. No. Yeah. Because <laughs> that means you have to take care of yourself the night before. And yeah. who oh, wants to do that? You can yeah. go out with a hangover. You can pedal around with a hangover. You can. No, I can't, but I exactly. could. Exactly. I could. Well, nobody... I mean, you guys smell me most Saturdays. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but I... <laughs> has a whole visual to it. <laughs> yeah, right? Just burning. Hey, guys, come here and smell me. Burning off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, is anybody fat biked? Oh, no. Mm-mm. Another Does opportunity for something. Wait, is that is that is that like a joke at how I'm fat and I'm biking? No, I was gonna say another opportunity oh, for okay. self deprecation there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, have you you guys ridden a fat bike? Does anybody no, own one? I won't one? do it. I've done it, but I won't do it again. Jackson, and we rented one. We did. It's just, yeah, it's just it such a, a specific thing. Like you have to have the perfect snow, the perfect day, the perfect temperature, the perfect weather. It's like this is a, at least for me, a tool that is way too specific to spend a lot of money on. You know what's better than that? Yeah. What? Cross country skiing. Well, I was going to ask you about that. You know, I, I, so. Um, it's just the season now. It's open. Hmm. But is there enough snow up there? Yeah. People are skiing. Am I the only downhill skier in the yeah. group? No. No, I'm just kidding. No, Davis, no you words. did? Yeah, I got a week long Canada trip coming up in January. Do you consider downhill skiing oh, yeah, we're a, doing proper, that, right? a proper yeah, workout? Uh, no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I always go into ski season with my friends who are skiers and they're like, oh, I gotta get my legs under me. And I'm just bored out of my mind. I'm like, what? It's, I don't know. I've been riding my trainer. I'm not tired. Yeah, my really? legs don't hurt. Like, it, you it, don't it's ski like, like I do then. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But Two like, I get tired. To the uh, lodge for no, beer. No, no. I raced for about 12 years. Oh. And um, I, I, I have to, I, when I stop halfway down the run, my heart is going, boom, 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 boom. And I'm breathing hard. Mm. I, I will ski top to bottom because it feels it's like hard and it hurts and I get to the bottom and I'm out of breath. Yeah. But then you sit on a lift and it's like it was three to five minutes. It's like, an interval. Yeah, I guess it's interval training in a way. I guess it is interval training in a way. But <laughs> I'm but trying like, to justify going I up don't, to the mountain and I, I feeling use it, better about myself. I use it as a substitute for a uh, cycling workout that day. I'm like, oh, I, yeah. I went to the That's mountain. That's weight training to me. That's yeah, plyometrics. Yeah, I mean, yeah, That's yeah. not like... Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. It's a yeah. workout. It's, it's a strength train. It's it's yeah. not yeah. Yeah, it's just a different type of workout. But I 100 percent think that it is a workout. I mean, I don't ever like. I mean, I'm tired. Like, you, you come on. The last time that we went downhill skiing, you were passed out in the passenger seat. I was in high school. I'm pretty no, sure. No, no, it was when you. It was with your wife and oh. my wife. To be fair, he also did degrees. fall asleep. On a concrete floor yes. at my bachelor party. So yeah. this guy's falling asleep. Anyway. He will fall asleep. <laughs> anyway. But I'm asleep. just saying, they're like, he's tired. Yeah. I'm Maybe not, not yeah. throughout the day, but like at the end of the day, you're like, Ugh. I just don't think of it as something that's going to make you like a fast, no. like an aerobically faster. No. Oh, it's strength. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jackson, are you, are you done with it? I, I think you're, I, I, because we used to ski a lot. We when did. You were a little boy. Yeah. No, we did. I just, I got to an age where I started to think about the fact that like, you drive up there for yeah. an hour, sometimes two hours, depending on where you go. Yeah. You're up there and then you start and you're like, wow, it's bone chilling cold out here. <laughs> I hate this. And then you get through and you're like, 
I've been the same temperature the whole time. Yeah. And so then I, I don't love the cold that much. So that kind of hinders my want to continue to do it a little bit. <laughs> Sam's so, just my, blankly nodding. I hate downhill skiing so much. I just don't know if I like I just got sports. rid of all my stuff because I was really? like, I don't want to do this again. I love it. What about the it hot was... tub, the beer afterwards? Yeah, the way the, cross the country heat comes skiing back to your and skin. then doing that. It's great. But when yeah. you're 16, it's not. Yeah, you can't just do any of that you stuff. You can't drink the beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I liked it. I, I still do. It I was well, it was my sport before up. cycling. It was my sport before cycling. Yeah, I if I could just go downhill all day, I'd a hundred percent love it. Okay, I hate going up a lift. This okay. is the worst. Like you get cold, and then you're at the top, and you're just shivering, and it's like. I've always loved it because so many of the places around here don't have cell service. And so I just sit there and it's almost meditative on the lift. You just sit there, especially alone. And when you don't, you don't even have to talk to the person next to you. It's like kind of weird. It's like socially acceptable. Yeah, it's acceptable to sit like shoulder to shoulder with somebody and just stare ahead. And I I like find comfort in that, that I don't have to like talk to them. And if they want to talk, that's fine. But like you could just sit there. How's it going today? Good. Yeah. And then it, and then they they take it and they're like okay yeah this guy doesn't want to talk and that's fine, <laughs> and then nobody's upset like it's great you it can is. just sit there and do nothing. Yeah, I have well I've been skiing since I was four, mm-hmm. um, and I do remember the years where uh, Walkmans came out. Yes, I'm that old. Where people started wearing music, using music while they were skiing, and I still to this day can't do it. There's no way I could do it. It's um, really I can, if it's just you, you couldn't do it. No. I can't. Do huh. I need to hear p- everything going on around me. Huh. Yeah, that's like why I can't. I uh, I used to ride quite a bit with headphones back in the day when I was. You know, I had a coach who'd send me out for four six hour rides. Yeah, um, and I would do that. But nowadays I can't anymore. I have to use the bone conduction headphones because I need to hear tinnitus. what's going on around me. Mm. No, it was, yeah, probably because of the tinnitus. <laughs> but um, uh, you know, so I I don't. I can't. I need to hear what's going on around me. Yeah. And by the way, I didn't realize my tinnitus was bad until David started coming to the show mm-hmm. because you and I were on the same headphone jack for a while. And you <laughs> and were like, is. why is it so loud? It hurts. And like, it's not that. Lo- oh, it's my deteriorating ears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was really loud. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that loud to me. So what are you? I want to know what I guess this is a topic that you guys are going to jump into. What are your ride plans? You guys have the week off two weeks. Well, I I rode. I have ridden, let me think, uh, Saturday and yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, I just, my wife and I went for a walk with the dogs. But yesterday, I I got on. I'm still liking Ruby, by Mm -hmm. the way. Um, I found out they have the Spring Classics. I've ridden the last 30K of Strada Bianca as well as Roubaix. And yesterday, I rode in Flanders Fields. Mm. By the way. The romanticism of all of these roads, when you actually see them in real life, they are shit. Mm -hmm. They are horrible. Mm -hmm. Strada Bianca is like down, 18% up, down, 20% up, down. And and you're looking at the quality of the roads. They're absolute shit. Mm -hmm. And Flanders Fields, I don't know why. I just spent my entire life romanticizing all this. It's just shitty farm roads, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What we would consider gravel in this country are what the pros race in in the tour in Flanders Fields. It, yeah. That's it. Wow. I yep. mean, it's, it's just they're just shitty dirt roads. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and I switched into first person mode, so there are no digital people around me. Uh, it's cool. just my eyes of the, the the screen, and you yeah. just ride. And there's traffic occasionally. You see somebody walking by. A family's in the middle of the road, and they get the kid out of the way in the last minute, or they're holding the dog back. It's I'm a fan of the app, man. Uh, I haven't dropped system. Because uh, I truly feel it's the best training platform out there, um, but uh, the videos on this are great. I, I love it. It's and you can pick anywhere in the world. So so yes, I plan on riding probably at least every other day between mm-hmm. now and um, the end of break. And on those every other days, I plan to do uh, some sort of strength workout every day, either core or I am working on my shoulder, Sam. I'm doing the exercises, although I I need to be refreshed on some. Yeah, we'll go over that. Like I'm doing the rubber bands, you know, that Mm -hmm, kind of thing mm -hmm. like that. But that's pretty much it. So (laughs) it's a start. Yeah, yeah. Um, What are you gonna do? Uh, Yes. Well, let's see. Yesterday I rode uh, for about thirty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I did an AC progression uh, workout. I, I honestly don't know how to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> I just go to my Strava. <laughs> still having such a hard time with 35 minutes. But anyway. Oh, it's 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 my old school brain. Though. Yeah, it is. It, well, I mean, it's my base. It gets it gets a lot of like good interval training in in a short amount of time. Plus, I add on um, about thirty to forty five minutes of uh, kettlebell weight training every single day. Um, but I think I need to buy a heavier one because it's already got gotten Break a little much. bit lighter. I know. I'm just <laughs> Um, it's a humble brag. It's a humble brag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I went to th- can't help being yeah, so good. <laughs> um, and then I well, I went to the gym today too, and uh, I think I want to start doing that at least once a week. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So do you guys have any uh, tips, tricks, or ideas for for indoors? For example, I found the entire uh, through Jackson's wife the database of Apple Fitness workouts that are video workouts mm-hmm. that are yoga that are strength that are all that kind of stuff. Really huge database of workouts there. I've mentioned Derby before on this show. Mm-hmm. Great things, and then System and Ruby. I'm gonna I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth between them. Um, I'm and I'm doing my shoulder strength. So, do you guys have any kind of things you're adding in, or we got to do Mondays? Well, yeah, Mondays. Yeah, workout class, and then I do core stuff. Uh, probably one or two other days a week. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. I I feel good about it. I'm not really gonna pick anything up until I go to Maui, and then I'll start doing more distance. I will but. say something that I've found out recently, and I think I mentioned this a little while ago, is that if you're struggling to find out like a winter routine that's off of the bike, um, I found mine all through Instagram. Mm-hmm. There really? are yeah. If you just if you type in any sort of like workout equipment you have at home, kettlebell, uh, what dumbbell um, routine. If what did you just, you just call him? <laughs> I know. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Um, <laughs> no, but if you uh, just search those, it'll come up with a bunch of videos, reels, just individual pictures of it, it of just like different workout routines. And wow. even if you type in like cycling base, there's going to be something out there. So, wow. yeah, it's a great, <clears throat> great resource. Who would have thought? Gabriel Benjamin. I should mention him. Mm-hmm. The uh, yoga for cyclists. Um, he does some cool stuff. Um, some of his you got to go to his YouTube channel because his Instagram is usually everything in high high speed mm. and it looks like he's some sort mm-hmm. of possessed animal going to but uh, but the but the stuff he does he's been on the show before he's, he's a legit dude Dave you had anything outside of wow I just finally got a smart trainer and a set of dumbbells I yeah. um, this isn't going to be helpful to anybody the only other thing I do at home is when I was in med school, I had this um, Russian t- uh, professor who would put on this. Uh, it's actually how I met Danielle. Was at, the, at one of his classes. Uh, this is gonna go. This guy's a legend. Yeah, he he uh, he put on a core class every Wednesday, and he would DJ. He was a DJ. He would make his own music for the class. He barely. Sp- he. I mean, he spoke English obviously enough to teach a class, but you could only understand what he said on two times speed recordings. You couldn't understand it in person. Um, and, <laughs> and he used to just like set up cards, like these amazing circuit workouts on Wednesdays for like an hour. And I, I mean, we collected all of those. Most of us did before we left, um, to go on to our next rotations or whatever. We would like get a, a um, handout of all the workouts he does. And so I'll just cycle through some of those. Really? And that's still kind of what I do for core workout when I'm not doing regular, just on the bike stuff. But yeah, I have wish a I, true kind of a gulag feel to it. Like you will work out until. Oh yeah, he he would get down next to you. This guy was like six. Beatings will continue until morale improves. Yeah, and then like David, yeah. uh, Daniel, David. she rides bikes too. And marry her, <laughs> and then we did. Yeah, then we did. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, he he was like sixty. He would get down on the floor next to you and like show you proper form, and he wow. was nailing it. And like all At these sixty, yeah. Yeah. and all these young guys are just like you know Paul sixty. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, nice. Paul can't give me a thumbs up either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't. No. His body physically won't allow it. <laughs> do you guys pay attention to your weight over the winter? I think I do year round. Like I I, yeah. I want it to stay within a window. Uh, okay. it was probably five pounds would be like a swing that I'd be appreciate. Yeah, I want to uh, be able to stand in the window yeah. and people could see the ends of. Me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I want to. It, Jesus, it's, it's, he's it's taking the, up the whole thing. It's like the door Back jam up. test. Like, can I still fit <laughs> normally through a door? Yeah. All right, I'm good. Okay. 
Yeah, five pound five fluctuation. Pounds. Yeah. Jackson, you pay attention here? Not too terribly much. Uh, I I mean another you know another number to worry about, but uh, I fluctuate between certain weights anyways, so it's not like it's really going to change unless I start seeing you know massive changes. Then I'll yeah. really make a you know yeah. change to my diet, and my workout routine, but it's not at the height of my worries. I do, but I don't think it's healthy. I don't think people should. Really? I mean, I think you should give yourself some grace in the winter. Five hours isn't going to do... What five pounds? I mean, naturally yeah. you well, five should. Five hours a week isn't yeah. going to do oh. for you what the, like, the, summer, oh, yeah, does, what the yeah. summer would do yeah. um, in terms of like cutting fat and stuff. Um, but I naturally, physiologically, we should also be putting on weight in the winter too. Oh, I like mean, like bit, now yeah. we have... Why? Because we have to battle that, the elements and and hunt for yeah, our meals. Right. Exactly. Because so it just like, depends on your your career. Like, like if yeah. you you know stay indoors all day long. And well, like this freaking squirrel I saw in my backyard yesterday, who couldn't even free, like he couldn't even walk. He was so fat. That's yeah. like like you know back yeah. in way back when before we had houses yeah. and heaters. Not that I have a heater. Um, <laughs> but sore subject. <laughs> sore subject. Yeah, my heater went out. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, you had to, like, bulk up and stuff and save up food. So I think that's what he's getting at is that physiologically yeah. we used to bulk up in the or fatten up before winter. But um, I don't think it's good. I have – you remember how we talked about the fat scales last week? Was that last yeah. week? So I actually – The body fat percentage turned ones, right? I, yeah, yeah, I opened my app the other day for that, and it records every time I hop on the scale, and I didn't realize it uploads it. And I can see this trend. And, like, yeah. I, I do gain a little bit of weight in the winter, and every time I go on vacation – uh, yeah. I can see yeah. my vacations every single time I come back five pounds heavier. Yeah. yeah. And then you poop it out in yeah. a week. Yeah. It's the wildest thing. I, so. I thought it was like a 10 pound gain last time. Well, Christmas last year, I came back literally nine pounds heavier. It was insane. <laughs> yeah. He was pudgy. And in a week, it wow. was gone. He just soaked so it all out. nine pounds. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if, if, 10 yeah. pounds on him yeah. is a massive difference. And yeah. then he, and then like over the week, it's like, oh, David's back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as the as the person sitting at the bar whose power to weight ratio it haunts his nightmares. Yeah, um, mine too. I I I get on my scale probably two three times a week, and every time I'm just like going on there with completely eyes just crammed shut, just going, "Oh, please, please, please." Yeah, please, like please, kind please. of crack. My head open. Beep, beep, and I look down, and if the if I just as one eye opens, if I see a number I don't like, I hop off it like it's electrocuting me. Mm-hmm. Not today. Yeah. Although, Not today. Yeah. Although, <laughs> no, I'm just. I drank too much water, or uh, you know, oh, that, I haven't uh, pooped yet. Wrong. Yeah, I haven't pooped yet. That's at least eight I'm, pounds, right? Yeah, right. I'm gonna put it out there because I I think it's important in this sport because uh, that's really not that bad. I st- even though I acknowledge that it's unhealthy, I still hop on the scale every morning. Yeah, when I wake you. up every single morning, and I just like in the back of my head, I'm like, I think to myself, oh, cool. I'm not, nothing's changed or uh oh, <laughs> you know, good I thing think, I'm riding yeah, there's, a, there's a healthy balance to it. It's like, yeah, yeah it's one of those things where for me, I look at it and I'm like, yeah, okay. Watch what you're eating, Sam. It's like, honestly, over Thanksgiving, yeah. like I came way too close to hitting 200 for the first time. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And so for like three days, I was like, let's be mindful eating, you know? And then I went back down to my normal weight. 200 pounds. Fuck you, Sam. <laughs> The people on their podcast, on the on their headphones, probably didn't hear that because yeah. you know I, I whispered the things I don't yeah. want them to hear. All right, let's uh, let's check our news headlines. Brought to us by our friends at Pox Sports. That's right, Pox. Speaking of which, I'm going to definitely need a new helmet for 2024, mm. especially with the new kit design. Yeah, and 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 some of you've been letting me know the sweat solutions out there, and I appreciate it. Pox is a great fit, and I think white is going to go away. I think I'm going to go without white this year. Mm. Yeah, oh, I was that's, watching that's that. Daring. I was watching that. Heat. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, nice beer, dude. It's so much amateur fun. time. <laughs> um, uh, that absolutely brilliant Matt Stevens uh, cafe uh, ride today yeah. on YouTube uh, with Tade Pogacar, and both of them were wearing gray helmets. And I was like, those look kind of cool. Huh. Those don't look too bad. He's wearing a white jersey. Helmet's dark. Mm-hmm. I think it's time. But anyway, time for a change. Pox Sports. Use the link at Pack Filler. Holy crap, this is going to be good. Speaking of whom, Tade Pogacar dropped a bomb on the cycling internet recently by announcing his decision to participate in the 2024 
Giro d'Italia, along with a very challenging yet specific calendar. His focus for the year will culminate in Zurich with the World's Ball. Also includes Strada Bianca, Milan San Remo, Torino Adriatico, the Giro, and the Tour, and the Olympics in Paris, Quebec, and Montreal, rounding out the season. So uh, with the Worlds, um, I'll start with Jackson. What was your reaction to this this news by Tade? Um, I think that we'll probably see a, a pink jersey. He'll probably win the Giro, realistically, I think. Um, and then he'll probably take a second or third in the tour. Um, but I just I think that if anybody can do it, you know, it's him. A double? Yeah. Or I don't know about a double, but if anybody can do that calendar, I think it's him. Nice beer stash. Uh, <laughs> um, I I would be amazed to see somebody pull off a Giro tour double. Again, I don't know if any more it's possible because I know that Vingigo goes right well, to that race, and that's kind of it. We did see Vingigo place podium. He podiumed in Welta on the Welta, right? Uh, we did see Roglic podium uh, in the in the obviously in the Giro. He won the Giro, and then yeah. he podiumed in the Welta. So, winning two tours is not out of the question. Yeah, two I don't grand tours. I don't see Jonas going to a tour before the tour, though. Yeah. For the in France, yeah. just because I think that he but, doesn't want to risk that. But with Tade doing both, that would one would think immediately that it weakens you for for France. Yeah, we've already got um, two. Does this play right into the hands of Jonas Vingegaard? Probably. Yeah. So it's such a weird year, though, because he lost. Because Yumbo's losing very key teammates now, and UAE is now gaining more. With yeah. like Pavel Sivakov, so it's going to be a weird year, I think. Yeah, but who has Yumbo lost that is a contributor to Nathan Van Hoydonk, who is a, a lot of people don't think about it. He was a huge contributor to that and team. the flats and stuff. But like, yeah. and then I think that you, I mean, you still have the freaking diesel train that can just pull everybody in all day long if they just set them up for that. Is Robert Hasing racing anymore? God, he's got to be getting up there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. So if I mean, I just, I just think it's going to be exciting. I can't wait. I I I love his season. I I'm a little sad that there are no Cobble Classics, especially after his Flanders yeah. uh, win last year. Yeah, you know, I I wish I could see some more of that. But um, I'm I'm skipping you, David, because I have a feeling you're. Well, I'm going to be honest. This is the first time hearing of it. Yeah. And yeah. My reaction is I don't feel like that cool of an athlete. That's an amazing amount of races, and I wish I had a different job. <laughs> Which do you guys like better, Grand Tour Tade or Classics Tade? Classics. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think that's so cool. Like that, and that's totally his alley. Like he's he's an incredible racer, all in all. But he's just not. I don't. I don't think that he's a, a Grand Tour. I mean, he's, he's even incredible. He's one, two. Totally. But like, I think that now with other people that he's up against, like he's so freaking punchy. That like he could just dominate. Yeah, he could dominate all of them, and he's got like great bike handling. I don't know. I, I just think it's really fun to watch him do that stuff. And I guess I'm also putting the like, what would I rather be really good at? And I would rather really be good at <laughs> the classics. Yeah. So I think that I like him doing that better. Jackson, it's tough. Um, I think I do like him during the classics time, uh, especially over the last year, because it just showed how dominant he could really be, um, and how I think how Merxian he is in that he can just is do that it. a new he word. Can do it. That's a great word. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Let's I'll, make I'll, that a word. Yeah, I'll, I'll trademark That's a that one. Fabulous <laughs> word. Yeah. yeah. Every, um, Jackson gets a nickel. Every yeah, time somebody says it. exactly. Yeah. Um, but I think he really wants a San Remo this year. And yeah. I think that's his star on top of the Christmas tree for him. So I, I, I think we'll get a classics Tade this year mm-hmm. very much. Mm-hmm. And Strada Bianca. Piece, you know, so and mm. the Olympics. It, he did mention that the worlds was probably his biggest objective of the year. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, <sighs> it's a big ride for a little guy. Oh, big, bigger, he's the dude who can do it. Third place, bigger last year. than the no, Olympics. Totally. You don't think like I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Like the it's Olympics just longer. Like people don't really seem to care about the Olympics in the world of cycling. Like oh, most, they do. 
Like I, all the I mean, big tour riders are, you don't see like it. Just seems like well, it's, it's it's cooler to win the Tour of France than it is to win the Olympics. Yeah, but like, yeah. if you look at a lot of them, like I mean, Bradley Wiggins wanted to win the Olympics after yeah. he won the Tour. Yeah, and like Conchalar has gone after it. I mean, big names have always gone after winning that. Is it because they need to train differently, and like when they're training for the Tour, it's not really like a feasible. I yeah, so. it, it, I mean, you're switching from a Grand Tour mentality to yeah. a, although, you An know, ultra it, throughout, throughout history, many, many riders have gone on after the, after the, uh, the Tour de France into doing extremely well in the, in the worlds because yeah. it used to be pretty close to right afterwards. And, but and that was, also, you know, now there's people that just are, I mean, the, yeah. the percents are so well, the, thin the, the, between the these game riders. Has yeah. The yeah. game has changed. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of great racing news, there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel for us here in North America when it comes to actually being able to watch bike races. Now that, by the way, today is the day GCN went dark. GCN uh-huh. Plus, sorry, not GCN. GCN Plus has gone um, has shut the doors for the end of the today. Apparently, a subscription to Max might yeah. be in all That's of our HBO, futures. HBO, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. As subscribers to Max in the USA will need to purchase the BR Sports add-on to view the cycling roster. And this is all prepared copy, which according to the press release includes more than 300 events, including the Giro, the E3 Saxo Bank Classic, Kerna Brussels Kerna, and quote, more, end quote. Other events include the UCI Mountain Bike World Series, UCI Tracks Champions League, plus the breakaway pre- and post-show. Former professionals Alberto Contador, Philippe Gilbert, Robert, Robbie McEwen, and Jens Vogt are among the experts who will be featured in that live coverage, I guess. So it's very similar to what we were fortunate enough to have through GCN+. Yeah. Plus. Announcement answers some questions on how American viewers can access cycling coverage. Um, transition to other broadcaster is not available unfortunately in the usa and canada but it, it also appears however that peacock will still be the place for races like roubaix the, the tour. tour and mm. such uh does this mean we should look into our vpn <laughs> accessing D- discovery plus in europe um I, I i i am hearing through some online discussions that uh buying discovery plus in europe might be difficult because if they track the fact that you're credit card is based in a non-broadcast country it immediately shuts you off mm. yeah um and i've become so spoiled with the coverage through the eurosport coverage that has come throughout the years mm-hmm. so first thoughts on that i'll ask you guys i mean i i are actually no and i'll continue with this a subscription to max if you don't have it already Costs either nine ninety nine a month or a hundred bucks a year with ads, mm-hmm. or fifteen ninety nine a month or one hundred and fifty bucks a year for ad free, or nineteen ninety nine a month or two hundred bucks a year for wow. ultimate ad free, and then the BR add on free for Max subscribers through February twenty ninth. Hooray! What the. F- Am I going to watch in February 29th other than Cyclocross? Will cost $9.99 a month more. So if you're paying monthly, $120. That would be nine, yeah, $120 bucks a year. Plus, if you want ultimate ad free, that's $320 a year. That's fun. It's, it's, it's less than a dollar a day. <laughs> so think about it that way. It's less than a dollar. Don't inch. buy your cappuccino. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The cup, uh, the cost of a cup of coffee. I wish Sarah McLaughlin was playing in the background. Uh, in the arms of the angel. Yeah. And then God. for less than a cup of coffee a day, you could watch these Man, poor bike racers really... who need your attention today. I'll be Help watching the bike racers of the world. Yeah, I'll it, be watching YouTube highlights. <laughs> well, it's tough. I would have a hard time, honestly, even spending the hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. And that doesn't even get you the ad free. Like that's, I mean, because GCN was fifty five. Yeah, like right? a year mm-hmm. for a year. And I gotta say, I, I would have paid twice that and been fine with everything that we were getting. And right? You guys were all using well, my VPN. Yep. Which I now probably we shouldn't know tell why they yeah. probably went under. 
<laughs> they, I would well, have paid. The thing. I would like, have paid double the price for GCN. I yes. would have paid 110 well, bucks. We should have been absolutely, <laughs> freaking lutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I. It's also tough because it's a nearly year-round sport, but a good, I would say, 40 percent of cycle cycling fans kind of stop watching. Yeah. After you know that last Grand Tour yeah. or uh, Lom- Lombardia. Yeah. Um, and then it just kind of become something that you really look at your wallet and go do i need to be spending 300 plus dollars on this a year it's 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 just tough to ask but you do get hbo max but this is the classic drug addiction mentality Mm -hmm. you know you get hooked on the cheap stuff and then all of a sudden you find yourself with a room full of bourbon Mm. yeah i I get that um but i found more races that i had never known of Mm-hmm. And now I want. I mean, I want to see Tro Bro, Bro Leon. I want to see all these small, you know, E three Saxa Bank. You know those races. Yeah. I loved watching them. And now it's like, oh shit, how am I gonna afford this? I'm just depressed now. Right? It's just Should so we all sad. It? Yeah. Yeah. Man, walking through Italy and like all the cafes just are were streaming the Vuelta at the time. Yeah. I was like. I want to live here. Uh, you guys get me. Yeah, right? You guys get me. Yeah. This is where I'm meant to be. Well, if, if anybody... No, oh, sorry. Ahead. I was going to say one last thing about this whole subscription thing. <clears throat> if you really think about it, so <clears throat> I pay for... Well, half pay for the NFL Plus app. So I can watch yeah. all of the NFL games going on on Sundays, sometimes Saturdays and Thursdays and Mondays. Um Plus, they have this red zone thing, so every team that gets in the red zone, it'll switch to that game on the day. Um, Shit. Yeah. For $80 a year. Yeah. What the heck? All of the NFL games you could possibly hope for for 80 bucks. But and now we're going to have to pay for to me. Yeah. But do you need a subscription, a base subscription before that? Like, do you need to pay for YouTube TV first? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. So you can do all this through... That. Yeah, I've seen that for like the NBA one as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is a Sunday ticket on YouTube TV, which sure. is less than this subscription that we're talking about for watching bike races, though, as well. So it's just a is it just because bike racing costs so much? Like, I mean, truly, let's let's switch and think about that. Like mm-hmm. these, the, like the sports that we're talking about are shot in a stadium that is not moving, whereas oh. the Absolutely. Bike races That's are covering, you know, hundreds of miles, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to have it's camera be- stations set up the whole time. What you've got is you've got the f- the foundation of you've got a, 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 a production company that is in charge of the filming. And then what they do is they license their feed to these specific groups. Mm-hmm. Um, and then those people take the feed, they sit in front of a computer, and they commentate on it. Mm-hmm. So you got that, but you've got, yeah, you've got helicopters, you've got motorcycles, you've got uh, fixed cameras throughout the course, you've got all that kind of stuff. So yeah, your cost is going to be higher, but this HBO Max subscription is not just bike racing. You're going to be able to land more stuff than that. Um, Is Top Gun Maverick on? HBO Max? Absolutely. Okay. Well, then maybe I'll do it. So you're 10 bucks there. (laughs) Your HBO Max subscription, I'm a fan of it. I pay for it. Um, already, but now I'm going to have to pay ten bucks a more, ten bucks a month more to get That's bike race. So crazy! So uh, twenty five dollars a month. Am I going to pay one hundred and twenty dollars a year just to add bike racing? I already know the answer is yes. <laughs> Do you? Because I, I already I pay two times for t- cable television. Yeah, I'm paying yeah. for Xfinity and YouTube. <laughs> You should you. do that like app yeah. thing that like detects all of your your uh, you no know, and see <laughs> no <laughs> you have a thousand dollars going out a month oh. just in subscriptions oh yeah. that's I crazy pay that kind of shit I do occasionally go through and I'm just like going I'm in a wine of the month club or something <laughs> like that and it's like going. <laughs> Yeah, Drop I just, that. I just got a notification about a box of wine getting shipped to me. I was like, where'd that come yeah. from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so many of those little things that just get you. Yeah. They get you. Um, okay. Moving on. Uh, by the way, the kits are seeing the light of day. Uh, brand new um, pro team kits. Mm-hmm. Oh, so on the monitor small. behind you guys, we're going to play a round of cool crap. And you know, we should play the game show. 
We're going to play Cool Crap or Meh. I'm going to bring up a bunch of the newest team kits for the 2024 season. And our exciting panel is going to be able to judge whether it is cool, it is crap, or it is meh. So let's get ready to judge people based upon things they worked incredibly hard on. <laughs> <laughs> Alphabetically, <laughs> alphabetically, we are going to go team to team. First off, the AJ Desert now wow. Decathlon have gotten rid of the brown shorts. The N is nigh. The brown mm -hmm. shorts are gone. Well, should we just go in order? Jackson, cool crap or meh with the blue shoulders, white mid, and black shorts? Hmm. I think it's meh. It's Man. nothing new. It's it's what we've seen on every bro team kit for the past ten years. Yep, we had a blue de we had a blue time uh, during the U.S. Postal Service things like that. A lot of teams in the blue. Mm -hmm. A lot of teams in the blue. Sam, I love it. I would love it more if that left sleeve was white. Oh, like you know, if they carried that up there. Oh, but yeah. like overall, so you're going I love cool. Clean, you're going cool. Basic. You're going cool. Yep. Okay, David. You know, the it, the only thing that's standing out to me about this, unfortunately, is that the guy sitting down there has different shoes than everybody else, and that's not cool. Well, they have different sponsors. Shoes are a different sponsor. Yeah, but they're predominantly white. Yeah, they're all They white. all have a different shoe sponsor? David, yeah, David, yeah, yeah. So athletes are individually sponsored by some, shoes. Some depends. Teams. A lot of some, teams, some teams do stick to a, yeah. a specific they shoe. They're specialized. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, are you going cool, crap, or meh? Meh. Okay, I'm going meh. I like the I like the brown shorts. I don't know why. I always Me made too. fun of them, but now I miss them. Uh, next off, Arceus B and B Hotels. You should have oh. seen the unveiling of this kit. It was hilarious. I can't remember one of the guys actually had a freaking sword in his hand, like this Arthurian legend kind of a thing. It was just really over the top dorky. But what we're looking at is a that. red kit with a little kind of a. Vomit splatter on the side. Um, black shorts. Uh, Jackson, cool crap or meh? I'm gonna. I the only reason I'm gonna say meh is because this is the exact same kit they had last year. It's got that stuff on the side a little bit though. It yeah. was still red and black. Yeah. It was, so it's much. except now they have Arno Demar. So yep. That's yep. about it. Crap. Sam's is crap. I'm all, I'm going meh. Yeah, I'm going meh too. I'm not seeing a whole lot there. Yeah. No. Um, and apologize for the people who are just listening to us, but you're going to have to Google these kits. Because and watch us on YouTube. Yeah, watch us on YouTube. Oh, love The it. new Astana kit. Um, still in the classic Astana blue. Um, kind of taking a little bit of last year's mumbo jumbo at the bottom still. Um, you know, it looks like Mark Cavendish in the shot, you know, has got a little tummy ache, you know, if it was showing through. But... Uh, uh, Jackson, Ast Astana's cool crap or meh? Just meh. It's the same thing. Like, it show me the bikes, then that might change my mind. Yeah. But this is the same thing they had last year. Stop <clears throat> doing the same thing. I, That's what bothers I, me. I can't comment yet. So, yeah. Sam? I mean, I would never want to wear that, but like, <laughs> bravo to Cavendish for never giving up the dream. Oh, uh, you're just saying cool because it's cool, Cav. just because it's Cav. David, I mean, this is cool because the photo, the the fog, all that. No, nah, the kit the though. The yeah, kit. I know. We need. They, he's got the champion stripes. That is the but whole the presentation whole, but if you, if you here. Focus though, in. Yeah. If you focus in on the kit, it's meh. But the I presentation's yeah. cool. Yeah. I, the, now the color is very specific to the Azakistan. Az Kazakhstan flag, so that's why the, the hence the color. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going mad too. I'm and act, I'd actually might go to crap to in a certain extent, just because I think it's I mean, like it, yeah, I would stomach, never want to wear it. I, I have yet to see a kit that I'm excited yeah. for yet. This mm -hmm. Me too. The, of all these ones, um, Bahrain victorious. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> we are not seeing the bottom of this kit based upon the photo I obtained. Uh, they have gone to white uh, uh, of, a, of a foundation of the kit. Jackson, cool crap or meh? They've never done well. This <sighs> is a crap kit. This looks like it came from 2010. This is Okay, bad. okay. Sam? God, you nailed that. That is this 2010. Is a bad kit. Yeah. yeah. I can't even name the team right now because every team in 2010 was that. Yeah. Just with like the visible stitching, I think yeah. that's really ugly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sam? Yeah. Crap. Cool crap, crap, David. 
Uh, same thing. I got two thousands vibes immediately, but yeah, I don't. It's so I'm, bad. I'm too nice to say crap. So my, my, just shorten the sh- sleeves. It's like I, I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna go crap because I am. I think white is probably the. Although UAE, I, I I don't know if it's a great way to highlight your sponsors, especially since UAE has known for its color. Speaking of color, Bora Hansgrohe. Let me make that a little bigger for you at home. Sorry that it's blurred. Mm. A um, little, little bit of a, of, of almost a day glow on the right shoulder there. Um, things like that going on, Jackson. It's a meh. I am a dis- meh. I'm disappointed with where they came from last year. Last year was super cool. Was this year, yeah. they included the neon, and the, I never like neon in anything. Yeah. Although we're about to phase it out, technically of ours. Well, I don't. We I have that very similar color, almost a greenish color in that brightness. I yeah. just think I don't like it. Yeah, I'm tired mm. of our kit. Our kit's going to be different. So yeah, Sam. Meh, meh, David. I kind of think it's cool. You do? Yeah, I do. I think it's pretty cool too. Uh, out of the kits, it is going to be one of the ones we see in the peloton a little bit more, and so I applaud Bora for going that way. Uh, DSM has made a change. Vomit. <laughs> Not uh, even crap, but vomit. We're looking at a blue, That is a charity white... ride. <laughs> Rand Fondo <laughs> yeah. jersey. Yeah. Everybody oh look up Oh my DSM. god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Universally Is that crap. a joke? Are you Wait, is that seriously That's DSM? That's the kit. They get Fabio Jakobsen and this is what they do. Oh wow! All right, change it. You change so it. are we all? Crap? That's so yeah. bad. Okay, this does uh, that is so funny. It does look That's, a lot like a charity. It, it's ride. a charity ride jersey yeah. that with the is, mountains. Oh my god! I'm embarrassed for them. All right, I'm glad you guys are falling into the same category. I fell. Enios, yeah. orange kit with a blackened shoulder. Jackson, I teeter on this one. Okay. Because Garrett's in it. Because it's Garrett. Okay. Well, because oh, Garrett. I like where the team's going a little bit. And so it's Garrett. Well, beca- I was going to say, because I like like Tom Pidcock and the youngsters they're bringing into the whole cycling world of it all. But I was going to say, it's in between that I like it and the meh. Okay. Because they did a little change. They changed it actually this year mm. from what they had before. So, so you're I, meh? Yeah, I'm in between. Okay. In between. Meh. Sam, meh. David? I looked at that and I thought, damn, that's cool. It's just because it's Garen Thomas, which yeah. I love Garen. To mm-hmm. me, it looks like Garen was camping and he f- passed out into the fire onto his left side. Yeah. Nah, I, the black cool. shoulder just looks like he burned himself because the uh, full he's got a full arm warmer on there, too. So Yeah, that would be wild to have an orange and black arm warmer. I, I do applaud the orange. Yeah. yeah. As somebody rides an orange bike, it's one of those colors that is so rarely used anymore. So I, I, I you know, I don't hate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. meh. I'm gonna meh. Damn, that's cool. <laughs> Israel Premier Tech. I just love blue. I think what? that's what I'm coming to. What? You were bashing Astana and no, I like said Astana. No, not said five Astana minutes ago. Cool. Because it has Cav. Do I want to wear it? No. Okay, Jackson. Um, hmm. I think it's kind of cool. White yeah. sleeve, see? There's that One contrast that I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Sam, so you're going cool. I'm going cool. David? Uh, me. Doesn't me? excite me like uh, Garum. I liked I liked IPT's jersey this year, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I, I'll i go cool enough. Cool enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, I think it's just like asymmetrical designs. Cool. Yeah, Couple just... left. By the way, if you have a social media account, you were absolutely, if you're me, ad nauseated by their video. Love it. Of, Love it. Of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Alaphilippe, Alaphilippe dancing coming yeah. out of a trailer. Jesus H. Tap Dancing Christ. That was so much. Everybody re- was reposting that freaking video thinking they're getting a big news scoop. Stop it. Look at other people's social medias, and if it's all over the place, you're just being a douchebag. <laughs> Don't repost that shit. Anyway, suit all quick step. Jackson. Uh, it's it's me. It's the same thing they had last year. Uh, yeah, except there's a fade going into the suit all over. Into his haircut. Who cares? Love. You love the Euro haircut? No, I love everything. It's Castelli. It's blue. Yeah. And I've always been a fan of quick step. 
ever since Tom Boonin. I love it. David? I thought it was cool. It's no yeah. ma pay. I wish I wish Paul was Okay, here. that's yeah. What's it's no ma come pay? a long way. Ma pay was the one of the older sponsors of this team and it was ma pay and then it was ma pay quick step. Was and all this Patrick kind of Lefer? Yeah, this is still what? Patrick Lefer. Oh my god. When he's he ma pay was He's been doing this game oh, longer than that. I've been uh, uh, th- talking about bike racing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we're a meh. We're all meh. No, except it, Sam is a I cool. love. Okay. I thought it was cool. I'm okay. the only one that said meh. I, I'm a meh, too. I'm oh. a meh. Cool. Uh, two more. UAE. So does this mean Tade, since he's not available for the Young Riders jersey anymore, will just have it anyway? <laughs> He's also Slovenian national champion. So UAE is. has gone full white. Jackson. Yeah. I kind of like it. He's in white helmet there, too. You just like Tade. Get out of oh, here. Oh, I mean, that helps, but I don't well, know. I get I the like squiggles that, that they have on I like their that stomach. they changed it. You think it. that squiggles are cool? I like that they changed it. I like no other every t- other team changed it I to like the same degree that no they other, did. No other, t- I'm sorry, but no other team changed it. They're all blue or like slightly a little less blue. It's white all no, or all white done. last year. What I'm they right. no, they got they had black. They had yeah, quite they had, a, they had black on the sleeves, and yeah. I missed the black on the sleeves. Yeah, I liked that old retro style. So Jackson, you're what? I like it. Like you're cool, mm-hmm. Sam, mm-hmm. Meh. Meh. David. I'm always into white. So you're all. Okay. So Euro. I'm a meh. I, I'm not a fan. I could, uh, yeah. Last one. We're going to go to the women's Peloton. Love it. We're going to go to SD Works. Who have um, continued to brighten things up. Can we have kits like that? That's pretty bright. I know. I like it. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but there's a lot more color. Would you I agree? Purple. Purple's a good color. I purple know. and orange are the cool colors. Yeah. Jackson? I think it's great for that team, but I do. I you don't want to but, rock that? No, I no. don't at all. <laughs> I will say it's the same thing. It's yeah. the same goddamn kit every se- like. I love that they change it a little bit every year, and we have this fun little presentation thing. But uh, I know that they have a team on it. I know you do. So yeah. why don't you just do some sort of artistic fun? Yeah, like uh, like EF does every year. No other team does that. And this Where is was EFs? No, I they haven't wait. seen it yet. They, they wait. Oh, yeah. These are the only ones I could find so yeah. far. So, so it's I, I love it. I like yeah. I've liked the kit since it was created, but for this year, meh, because it's the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go meh, Sam. I love that. You love that kit. Yeah, David. If you blur your eyes, it's kind of hard to tell who's who. Meh. If you blur your eyes, it looks like a bag of Skittles melted in your car. I know, yeah. right? Man. The tropical flavors. And and I also I know that there are probably men at work in the designs of these, but I wish they would stop pinking women's teams. You know, yeah. the, there's always got to be a shade of pink, and it's like just stop it. You guys, you're pandering. You're you're acting like a bunch of chauvinistic douchebags. You know, give me give the women's teams proper colors. But hey, got him. Yeah, yeah. All right, there's that segment. Okay, so in other words, is there a winner so far? No, nope. the jersey of team kits. A lot of some bullshit. <laughs> That's just because you saw Alaphilippe dance out of a yeah, trailer ninety it. freaking times. It. Although I kind hey, have of... you seen this? Have you seen this? I'm going to get hits if I play this on my social media channels. Stop it! I, I just think this is how cycling becomes more boring. The artistry goes away. Yeah. yeah. Because now we're just... Uh, I, I saw 15 of the same kits I saw last year. Yeah. How cool would it really be to see like, a jersey like an Eddie Merckx or like one of those old school ones? Like just one sponsor across the front. I don't know if I should put that up. Yeah. Love. Because we haven't got an approval from them yet. But this is from our uh, just a friend oh, at Panache. Love, and that's what I would how I would like the Arrive kit to look next year. Ah, just kit plain and simple. Year. It's a little earthy. It's olive green, yeah. which is I don't oh, know. Oh damn! Is that that sucks? Is that oh. that sucks a lot? Is that 
I mean, I'm cool more of a forest that, green kind of guy than an olive green, yeah. but I'm good with either. Is yeah. that cool or is it? Yes. And I love blue. Too much gravel. That's it, sweet. Would, it does have some gravel vibes. Would it say a Reve instead of? Yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's just a Unless kit they Panache designed. Pays for all of it. That's just a kit they designed, and I was like, oh, that's not a bad kit. We can that's, design something similar to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very all right. Cool. Love. Love. Okay, let's get into our segments for the night. First off. We're going to get into Fit Tips with Bike Fit Sam. Thanks to our friends at Ambassador Cycling for that. And get to ambassadorcycling.com and you can check that all out. So, our question tonight is a, is a rider dealing with numbness in their hands. The question is to, I guess, to double up handlebar tape is mm -hmm. the mentality of thinking there to help the remedy. Or And then I immediately thought of, you know, we're seeing... Um, it's so funny seeing this retro elements coming back into popularity. Um, one of my first mountain bike suspension systems was the Alsop stem, which was a balancing stem. Oh, yeah. And now you're seeing that, especially predominantly in the gravel world. And wasn't Softride another one that yeah. made? Yeah, yeah. the same company. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Alsop is the manufacturer okay. of Softride. And, is, um, and, and for somebody to think that my remedy for numb hands is going to be more padding. Is there something bigger at hand uh, at stake here or is it, or can, is it just an issue like that with padding? So, I mean, yeah. And I, I had this actually come up several times in the last two weeks because I've done a few fits on a group of riders that are riding from across Africa. So this Jeez. huge trek, right? And they're like every single person. So somebody had to plant the seed like, oh, well, I'm going to double wrap my handlebars. Don't do that. You know, and it's like a lot of it is because then you have this like massive handlebar that you're holding and you have all like part of that is, yeah, you're dispersing pressure throughout more of your hand. It's an old school thought. OK, yeah, maybe I can get behind that. But really, a lot of the numb hands comes from where are you weighted on your bike? So are you too far forward? right is usually where you're then holding yourself up too much and so you'll get numb hands so a lot of it can be fixed and remedied from just moving back and then maybe we need to lower the saddle as well but it has less to do with gloves and you know bar wrap and all that like gosh you can run pretty low profile bar wrap and be totally fine so i mean yeah. this is this thing that's been ongoing for me too that we, yeah. we've worked on a lot of times yep. i mean i you know and it could be a circulatory issue well but too. like we've kind of remedied it with like changing the tilt of the saddle right yeah. because for you it was like i was pushing the nose of the saddle too far forward and then you were dumping down into yeah. the hands so yeah. it was like once we like rotated that saddle tilt up then it got rid of most of it too yeah it yeah. did very much so yeah, yeah exactly well it's probably just the fact that i'm carrying around this gigantic head yeah mm. that's, and that's most at the front like, of my bike like and my body's going good god get a recombination yeah. yeah 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 i hate that <laughs> um but how about and and I don't know if you knew this was coming, but there the UCI has put a, a starting to put a restriction on the lever brake levers in rotated type in, yeah, of a yeah. thing. And I remember one of my mm. first fits with you, you were like, the way you ride, you've got wide shoulders, but your hands are narrow, and that could be an issue. And then you told me to bend them in a little mm -hmm. bit, and I was reluctant at first because like, no brake levers go straight. straight, must be straight. In the nineteen eighties, yep. they were straight. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. So do you have any thoughts on that in terms of a fit remedy and how is, you know, could we, <laughs> am I going to be able to get a doctor's note saying, hey, yeah, right. my bike fit guy says I need my levers in. I'm yeah, not that's a great question. Dynamics. I wonder how they're going to address that because I think that they're probably pushing towards extremes where like people were rotating them in so that they could like drop they down could on puppy their bars. Pause. Yeah, yeah, puppy yeah. paws. Yeah. So that was a thing. Um and I, I wonder if there's going to be like a degree kind of like how your the nose of your saddle has to be set back from your bottom bracket a certain amount unless you're over six feet then that changes wow mm -hmm. yeah so there's like all of these rules and regulations to race at uci level but i bet you that like especially to the extent that we we did and that we would do in a bike fit um that slight internal rotation wouldn't really matter yeah and it would just be because i mean we did that to you because your shoulders are more internally rotated so just to keep that natural you know mechanical and it has helped yeah, I will yeah, yeah. Admit, it has helped so yep. the usa refs 
cut me some slack. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, please. Please. All right. Next off, we, of course, have it's time to ask Dr. David. I hope you know this is coming. What? Yeah. He's just dancing to his God, That's so cool. Dancing to my own song over here. <laughs> the curtain. No, not. I love it. Tonight's question is about carbohydrates. And this one, it, it, I, okay, I, I have realized that I don't pay attention to fueling properly. I yeah. now know it as a fact. Because I, I mean, I see people counting calories in their races and mm. what what's in all. I don't do any of that shit. So, how calories break down? Sugars versus complex carbs are are both needed in cycling. Is one better than the other? Are you know when does one work better than the other? Does anybody think about this shit? Yeah. Jackson, yeah. you do. Every Sam, you every do. Every time you every you blind asshole. No, this is my world. What? It's to be fair, from like a from a practical perspective, Sam actually does this. Yeah, <laughs> he actually is the. I know this. I yeah. don't typically he had to do study it. all of this. I can yeah. talk about this. I'm too lazy to do it. And yeah. then Sam shows up. David's like, like, here's a PT referral. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> all right. no, this guy will actually. So care. Uh, you guys or can here's sh- a nutrition. Then yeah. share the workload on this yeah. if necessary. But uh, talk to me about the different types of carbs. What works better in one instance, and what works better in another. Um, yeah, so there's, there's, uh, traditionally there's simple and carp complex carbs, and then we further break things down into like refined versus, um, I guess unrefined or whole grain, uh, for carbohydrate consumption. Um, think of your refined or your, uh, simple carbohydrates as things like quick fuel. So this is like simple glucose molecules that enter into your bloodstream and they're it's one it's one sugar molecule that your body can easily digest without any effort. It is the most readily available. This is your gels, uh, your like the things you put into your mix or whatever. Probably a fair amount of the bars you're you're consuming have simple carbohydrate in them. Complex carbohydrate is when you have three or more sugars linked together in a polysaccharide, and the benefit of this, I love this I, polysaccharide. That's yeah. just like a, that. Just kind of a dirty word. see, he knows uh, all just the nerdy saying that stuff. word makes your dick yeah. an inch longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I mean, I know. Yeah, like I know all these Jackson, things, and then I just proud of me. I ignore was, it. <laughs> Sam's he, like in the did, practical standpoint of yeah. these things. Yeah, but like it just, just to finish off real quick, the polysaccharides are the complex carbs. These are what you're fueling with on a daily basis because you need carbohydrates as an endurance athlete. You need to replete your glycogen stores, which is multiple glucose chain that's mo- that's the energy you store that you break down later um and you really should be i mean you shouldn't eat simple sugars unless you're exercising and that's probably largely opinion um and i'm sure there's evidence to back that up but it is rapidly metabolized and spikes your blood sugar and if you should not be eating simple sugars all day long i mean this is why we have such a high prevalence of diabetes and it's not that complex carbs aren't an issue, but they are less of an issue. They they break down slower. They don't spike your blood sugar. They give you energy over a more prolonged period of time. And so that's the fuel you eat when you're not working out. And then you eat the simple carbs when you are actively working out. So, for example, like huh. some of these, I mean, like a more a slower burning one would be. Slower burning carbohydrate would be something like brown rice or exactly. quinoa or oatmeal. As opposed to white rice or, you know, your traditional just pasta. Sure. And, and that's actually, a di- this is a little bit more nuanced, but like brown rice versus white rice is refined. So that's where it goes through uh, like a, a processing plant to make it more shelf stable or more uh, flavorful in a way like breads that are chewy or like white bread. When they do that, they're pulling out um, nutrients from the grains. So they're pulling out vitamins, fats, um, they're pulling out uh, uh, fiber and it becomes a less nutritious, uh, grain or polysaccharide or carbohydrate overall. Um, but yeah, they are also like rice is still technically, uh, um, polysaccharide, but brown rice is a more nutritious one. And then like sweet potatoes. Yep. There's complex wow. carbohydrate. Yep. But like it was sim- it was simple good. sugars in nature are syrup. Like yeah. maple syrup, maple syrup. honey. Yep. Um, very High few. Untapped. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. truly. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Well, Most I, I like that's why I have switched to them. And then honey stinger. Yeah. You know, like yeah. those are great too. But uh, 
untapped is way better. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to like throw this little plug in because of uh, our our high fructose corn syrup consumption in this country. High fructose corn syrup, when you're exercising at intensity, might be okay. Probably is because you're going to use it up so quickly. When you are not exercising and you consume high fructose corn syrup, metabolically it bypasses the way you typically uh, handle carbohydrates and it is very quickly converted to fat. And so that is one of the reasons that we struggle so much in America with obesity is, again, this is just a different type of carbohydrate. And it's a cheap sweetener. It's That's a what log, you're seeing log in cabin. so many things. Yeah, yeah. log well, cabin maple syrup, soda. Uh, soda, you know everything. So, yeah, you know, you're yeah. seeing it in everything. It's, I, it's everywhere. Yeah. I will eat it on a bike, and otherwise, I I do actually avoid um, high fructose corn syrup unless mm-hmm. I am actively exercising. And, but also look and see if it is like they'll say, you know, like no high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. First ingredient: fructose corn syrup. <laughs> medium fructose but, yeah exactly yeah. it's not high fructose <laughs> corn syrup what? no no truly really. look at look at bottles if they say no high fructose corn syrup the first ingredient will say it's fructose, fructose. fructose yeah. corn syrup yeah so it's it's and it's how it's processed too that makes it high fructose corn syrup versus just typical corn Lying syrup lying dickheads yeah. yeah no i mean truly and that's where it's like you, yeah. you have to understand that like people are honestly taken advantage of in a lot of these ways because they don't know these things and like how can you be expected to we have to worry about all of these other things with finances with living with just simple like going to work and all this yeah. stresses that we have in our life like nutrition is it gets put on the back burner and so it's one of those very important things to talk about and but like clean living you know it does start with understanding of a lot of a lot of these like basic simple principles yeah yeah. Reading and David could go into like, labels. you know, like probably an hour long discussion of how high uh, fructose corn syrup <clears throat> is killing America with diabetes and obesity. And yeah. Yeah. And we've, had bi- we've had bike rides where David is just like going through these long rambles about <laughs> diabetes. Uh, and Oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah, it's an epidemic. You know, it is, and, it, and it's uh, just one of those things that I think that it's it's a it's a lack of of knowledge. And I do not put that like pressure on people. I'm not like, oh, well, they should know better. It's like, honestly, we should do better as a community of of teaching this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, and a lot of times, sweet and salty tastes good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, Especially in the winter. Somebody who works and and as somebody who works in a high school, I you know I I I, w- I will look at the menus. At, at, at our high schools and I'll understand that sure you know they're trying to put nutritional elements into the menus but I work at a school where kids pay for their individual meals you know they, they pay for what they want that day it's not like come through the line this is what you get right the nutritional stuff doesn't sell Mm-mm. because the kids want the fact that sweet and salty tastes good they're not going to pay for a, a salad per se because they want a, a big ass slice of pizza or they want totally. a uh, grilled chicken, uh, gr- breaded chicken sandwich with yep. extra mayo. Yeah. Stuff like that. So, but also, like, would you disagree that, like, at that age, it honestly matters far less for ma- the majority? Sure. But it's a pathway. It's starting. Yeah, totally. You, you develop an appetite for these yep. things and in, you're going to eat that. For in the, the short term, in the short term, it is not super harmful. In the long term, when they learn, that, like, when they real, they start to develop habits that, like, this is how I eat. That's yeah. where it becomes harmful. Yeah. yeah. All right. That was, that was cheery. <laughs> Yeah. Merry Christmas. So let's move into our pack filled Christmas show isn't over without two things. First, the final gift guide for cyclists. Um, this is the time we as we moved up the price scale um, in our uh, our prepared gifts. This time, I, I didn't know if we decided upon unlimited, a right? double. Was it unlimited? I couldn't kidding. remember if it was anything. unlimited or under. I'll do unlimited. Okay. Oh, so if it's unlimited. Just, I, I started. I, I will go first because I chose. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. Where are you? <laughs> David's like a brand new house. <laughs> yes. Furnace. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh. Please, not, somebody help. <laughs> not to just drip more lemon juice in that open wound. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Won't open. Um, it won't open. I, I was going to go really crazy, but mm. then I, I kind of pulled back a little bit, which is hilarious as in the sport of cycling. I went th- with the Kicker Smart smart Bike. <laughs> oh. $3,000. It looks... That is actually practical. Insane. Yeah. 
Hear me is out. Is that practical? I've been looking at getting a fit bike because I've actually had a oh, lot of inquiries yeah. lately oh, yeah, about yeah. like people that want like that. I'm buying this bike. What do I get? Right. I've like, seen a lot of those online. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's there's a lot of companies out there. And honestly, there's probably only like three in particular that make these fit bikes that like you can adjust all the angles and everything like that. Well, Wahoo is honestly one of them. Yeah. Three thousand yeah. dollars ish. You know, you can get a Wahoo bike or these other fit bikes that they have are like eight grand. Yeah. And it adjusts climb it's so it, cool. as you ride. Yeah. You can get it set up for Shimano or yeah. SRAM brake style brake lever shifting. It's, it is I mean, really it's, cool. that's that's a lot of money. I'm not downplaying that, yeah. but I'm just saying like. Well, then we're talking to the Baha'i ticket yeah, that dream is cool. Christ, Christmas presents. So I would love to see that. But the other one I actually did think of was, um, and because if I, I, I was going to mention this one first, but I couldn't find a price tag for it. Uh, a company like um, Marty Jamison, who's been on this show before twice, um, has a touring company and a and a tour of the the Spring Classics going there. Everything covered. I, I'm assuming yeah. the price is with airfare is well over three thousand, but uh, that would be pretty cool. So, but with that in mind, I went with the Kicker Smart Bike. Jackson, do you want to go next, or do we should we go the opposite direction? Oh, I mean, I don't really care. Okay, you're up. Um, what I was looking at earlier today is the uh what nothing i, I just saw sam's phone. oh well i want the uh piston uh pro x from uh kua the piston. bike rack that is cool yeah it's thirteen hundred dollars one thousand three hundred and eighty nine dollars isn't it k-u-a-t right it's k-u-a-t no q-u-a-t right? k-u-a-t k-u-a-t and it's got brake lights that's cool. Yeah. It's, that it's, is cool. It's a hitch mount? It's a hitch mount. Man, one. leave it to the Germans to just design amazing stuff. I have stuff. a, I I have have a quad. quad. I have a yeah. quad rack. Yeah. They are, uh, even the base one's like $1,000. Yeah. So they're they're pretty expensive, but, but they're, they're very nice. amazing. Quad? I have a quad. Quad? Quad, did you say? <laughs> I have one on uh, for the RV, but I use it on the other car. And it has internal locks yeah. that you pull out yep. the cable and lock yeah. the bike to it. I just I, this one's thirteen eighty nine. I that's the nice. that's the one I was looking at. Yeah, I two bike. I like. I think putting the bike on the top of the car looks pretty cool, but it's also mm, like no, doesn't look cool. That's how you get cool. rock chips. It that's looks how you really cool. Run your ten thousand dollar bike into a hey. parking structure. Uh, well, when you've been doing soon. it as long as I've yeah. oh, too soon. When you've been doing it as long as I've been doing it, you. you pretty aware that i apologize for your loss by the way but um <laughs> you did this two times <laughs> jeez that sucks <laughs> right one was a very was expensive right bike and the other oh, one was oh, not well, as expensive yeah. but still a loss i those trailer racks where you have yeah. both both wheels on you just grab a thing and go zip down into the front so wheel yeah. and you're gone well, and aerodynamics yep it's all, all it all here. it's all affected here yeah. yeah however it is the world's most expensive bumper yeah Yep. Yeah, but but that's somebody else's insurance paying for actually, it. Actually, to be honest, it's probably less than a bumper. Like to yeah. get your bumper oh, revamped yeah. is probably more than, than <laughs> David that. knows this. Yeah, <laughs> I have oh, both been hit and hit. Yeah. <laughs> so I will say though, it is annoying, and I don't know if David finds this as well. But I have to uh, use an Allen key every single time I remove a wheel on my bike, and so. Yeah. The That's fact that great yeah, the fact that I have to get an Allen key out, and not just an Allen key, I have to get a torque wrench out and set it to exactly ten newton meters, or I will crack my frame. Mm -hmm. So, just putting it on there and not putting it on the top of the. But I, I didn't even think about. That. And it doesn't stop there. You don't have. You can't just put your bike on a rack. You have to have a specific attachment. Yep. To the through axle yep. adapter. So it's a whole deal. If you don't have anything, you yep. just put in the bike of the car. So this. Way more it's convenient. It's not as cool way to have it. It's, it's way cooler to have it in the back. Works with I, your mountain bike. Yeah. Yeah. Cross if bike. you have a trailer hitch. My Mini doesn't oh, yeah. have a trailer hitch. You have a Subaru. Yeah. He does. Yeah. 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 Fine. That's a good That's a good. So, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a not as good as mine. That's, but a, that's legit. a good one. Sam? Yeah. <sighs> All right. So I was thinking about this. This has nothing to do with bikes, but this is I my know. other hobby. <laughs> It's like David and his coffee <laughs> stuff. Oh, okay, so if coffee. I had unlimited money, I would buy the Pappy Van Winkle oh. bourbon collector's set that is 
fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> How do you what? Spell it's it? like the ten year, the twelve year, the fifteen. It's every, year. it's How everyone. It's the family many? reserve. That's the twenty three year. It's like it six. is it's the set. There's six. It's the set. There's only six for fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, good Don't price. That. Exactly. One six. of them is good five thousand dollars typically. So that's a good deal. Uh, I guess that? I can't wrap my Look mind around the expense of what alcohol. <laughs> Look is. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's on a, sale it's from on 20. sale. Oh, that's <laughs> a good price. It's usually twenty grand. That's I'm telling car. you right now, yeah. I would lose my mind. My problem is I could never buy that type of a bourbon because I would never drink it. No, somebody has to buy it for me. But I yeah. would never b- let somebody buy it for me because I would never drink it. Oh, I'd be I like, this is twenty thousand dollars worth of bourbon, and you're not gonna have any. That's uh, tuition at some schools. Yeah, yes. no, I know. That's crazy. I've, I've made my I way through the most that. expensive Jesus. bottle up there, and it was amazing. But the MSRP, you can add gift wrapping for thirty bucks. Worth it. <laughs> A twenty grand bo- set yeah. for thirty bucks. Yeah. The MSRP on all six of those bottles is probably six hundred bucks. That's the thing about Pappas. That's what's the crazy. Markup is so, the is markup so is insane. insane. So oh if you like buy God. those at cost, like if you win the quote unquote lottery, like yeah. you have to enter every year to do this. I do. So does David. Yes. Um, and then you get those like the most expensive five thousand dollar bottle. Enter them. Oh yeah, yeah. we yeah. are. I'll be entering you too. This yeah, year you guys will be entered as well. <laughs> That's 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 yeah, if yeah. You, if you get an email, let us know. Yeah. But it's like two hundred fifty dollars for this five thousand dollar bottle. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, it's just the markup on it. Okay. Okay, Do so you back truly device. think side by side you could tell the difference if it was unlabeled? It, yes, it was. It okay, blew but, my okay. mind. But you wouldn't say this is a five thousand. But you would say this is, this is a, a f- phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. bourbon. But it's not worth five thousand dollars. You should never pay that. No. Okay. But okay. if somebody's gifting you, and if Jeff Bezos is buying you a uh, your gift. Go for this. You choose yeah. that. You wouldn't choose like, oh, I don't know, the world. <laughs> no. You he could give you the world. No. Or just the whole give me Pappy the twenty. No, I just bourbon. want Pappy. <laughs> or the whole the, distillery. Yeah, okay. I'll take okay. the whole I'm not, distillery. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, not tra- I'm not trying to yuck your yum here, but like, yeah. that's a, that's crazy how much that costs. That is crazy. Yeah. It is that crazy. Is crazy. Yeah. 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 Especially when a you know nice bottle of I don't know four roses is like it's fifty like, bucks. No, thirty. Yeah. David, what's your Christmas gift okay. uh, to yourself? This is coffee themed. Of course. And you guys makes just a lot broke of, the rules. No, no. This makes a lot of sense. Okay. We're all co- we all love coffee and bikes, okay? We all love you? numbers and we all love data. Oh god, and, here we go. And this is called a a Scasso baby tea. Oh, it is god. a Scasso baby tea. Yep, there you go. Googles yep, this every day tea. at work. I do. This is like it was my <laughs> background for a while. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> So that's, that's what you're at. Yeah, that's, that's exactly that's what girl, I was about to say. That's a girl in a T shirt. No, no, uh, just what, no, how do you no spell E-E, it? just to the letter T, baby T. Escaso baby T. So this espresso machine is a, is a it's got dual oh, it's got a boiler and a that. heat exchanger. It uh <laughs> it's 120 volt, which is nice because like my current one is 240 and I have to hook it up in the basement. Uh it's got like a water tank or you can plumb it in and it has an app that will record all of your shot numbers, like the temperatures, the brew times, like if, if you're a data person, yes, it's fifty eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Jackson, it looks a ton like our Brevels, which make it, brilliant coffee it is, and but, is a hell of a lot less. But internally it is not a Brevel. <laughs> it is not a Brevel. It the left side is a is a heat exchanger, which is nice for the honestly for the hippies and the energy efficient side of things because you don't have to heat a boiler to get the thing going. But it still has a boiler, which is crucial for steaming, um, because you need that uh, the boiler instead of a heat exchanger to get the power. This is an industrial grade machine. Oh, it's huge. You can get it home, but like it's it's also meant for your. It has a water tank, but you can also can plumb you plumb it, it? You can. Oh, okay. you can. That's a game changer. Because well, mine's plumbed currently, but it's plumbed what is in the this basement. Podcast about it's coffee, <laughs> but coffee goes with cycling. So does but, bourbon. But I mean, like, so does bourbon. Think about how you <laughs> required could, receptacle. Uh, you know, it does you, require. You have 20 to amp. buy a specific outlet. No, no, it's just it. a twenty amp one twenty. It's just a slightly larger amperage one twenty. Yeah, that's yeah. That's it's not, not that big of a deal. Five thousand eight hundred forty nine. That is Ascaso. A S C A S O baby. T plus one. This B- plus will one be group. the first grandchild my parents get. Yeah. 
Yeah. This will be our first. This is David's child. like he he has graduated from residency. Yes. He makes his first paycheck and he gets this. No, yes. that's next level of addiction, is what it is. Yes. That's where you're like going you all from. will benefit. That's yeah. like going from. That's, a, that's the Saturday morning meetup. Mm. Really? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't just like in like well, implicitly start all your rides there. Will you start carrying regular milk? No. Well, I could. No. If, if I buy it. No. And, and oat milk. put it in your fridge? No. Oat milk. I would. There's because there's something to oat, like oat milk is nice, but there's there's something to like the like the genuine nature of real milk. You can't quite mimic with any Thank you. fake milk. So Fair Thank life. You. Thank you. Yeah. We're <laughs> at, we're at 90 minutes into the show, so we got to end it with the most important part of the entire thing. Every year uh the, you guys are wearing two of the incredible gifts that I've provided over the years because I spare no expense. Mm-hmm. And uh and so this year uh your gifts gentlemen are to your to your right and um there will be no surprises involved, but um I will admit that some of it I now I'm not going to I'm not going to apologize. Um, on camera now, gentlemen, please open your holiday gifts for the year. I hope it's a Speedo. <laughs> speedo. Danielle's been yes. wanting one for me. No, it's more than just what you see immediately in the bag. Especially one item in particular, the heavy one. A lot of crinkles. Socks. Some What's awesome this? socks. Ooh, what is that? Is that a... Whoa! What, is that like it's a got my stem cap? They're bar end plugs. Oh, they're bar end plugs. plugs. That is rad. that is dope. Monogrammed bar that end is plugs. That's cool. sweet. Wow! <laughs> wow! Thank you. Um, they are well not a sponsor, done. but I got those through uh, custom caps, and they do stem caps. Yeah, those are those are old retro stuff. That is rad too. Those. those are cling stickers, so you can put them backwards in your yeah. window. Mm-hmm. But uh, the the custom caps was basically the gift. I just needed some other stuff to fill out the space what? in wow. the bag. Those so. are cool. Yeah, Those that's going really on the race cool. machine. I'm definitely going to need someone to do this for me. Uh, yeah. Samuel, what the custom caps? <laughs> oh yeah, Samuel? Oh, they just thread. They in. just thread in. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Sam can do that. The bolt it. Yeah, Sam yeah. can do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Well, I was, I was going to get you stem caps, but then I realized some of us have integrated, yeah. you know, full yeah. stem units. Oh, and, yeah. And we this is, that. yeah. That's just forward I, thinking I right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, pr- it's yeah. really easy. Mine are already installed. Man, that is wow. cool. This I, is really thank cool. You. Yeah. Yeah, thank Merry you. Merry Christmas, gentlemen. Thank you. And thanks for a great year. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna toast that next week. But <gasps> it has my name on it. Yeah, that's the point. How did you? I saw a pack filler. I just thought it was a rebate. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my God. Everybody's God. headphones just popped out of their skull. <laughs> oh. And with that, oh, I keep forgetting to play the outro. Brings us to oh. Brings us to the end of the Christmas episode. I'm starting episode. to get hungry every time I hear this because it because uh, it's like always 7:30. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm you know, like thinking about. Home. Yeah, I know, but like every time I'm hearing this, it just instantly triggers hunger. This one has a really Charlie Brown Christmas feel. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so classy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Brings us to the end of our, our Christmas holiday special. I wish Paul was here. I really wish Paul yeah. was here. And I wish Jack was here. Jack's Jack's got a gift coming to him, too, because Jack's a... He's an OG. Where's he been? Uh, he's got a life and a job that yeah. is not in this city. So, uh... Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank for you. Being Thank part. you. Merry Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry and, Christmas. Uh, and, um... See you next week. The Waples table gonna have some sort of just kind of a tofurkey on it. Yeah, and it just, probably. Yeah, it just similar it vibes. Similar, yeah. Tofurkey. Tofurkey. Nice. Tofurk yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next week. Did you hear the au revoir? Was that, that? the? Was that the?